Hello friends, today is how to walk on a path in both Blender 3D Studio Max using Mixamo animation. This was requested and I've decided to do a tutorial on it. Go to Mixamo and select the character. Now I selected this character and I selected it just for clarity. You can choose another character or use your own character if you like. Now select walk animation. Now this is very important. Make sure select in place is selected. Once that's done, download the character. I usually set it to 24 frames. Now let's create the path in Blender. So first open Blender and delete everything. Now go to top view. Now go to Add, Curve, then Path. To modify the path, select the path and go to the Edit Mode. Select the vertices and make adjustments. To add vertices, select two vertices, right click and select subdivide. The more number of cuts, the more vertices. Once you're satisfied with the results, go back to object mode and back to perspective mode. Now go to add, mesh, and cone. Now go to object constraint properties. Select follow path. On target, select path. Select follow curve and click animate path. To change the starting point of the animation, hide the cone and select the curve. Go to the edit mode and select the curve. Select segments. Select switch direction. Back to object mode. Unhide the cone. Select the cone and rotate it so the point faces forward. This is used as a reference for direction. Now we get our character. So go to File, Import FBX. Select the character. Expand the timeline. Go to the Graph Editor. Make sure everything's selected and shift E and select make cyclic F modifier. Now the character walks in a loop. Return to the timeline view.
Now this is very important. Select the character armature only, only the bones. Hit shift and select the cone. Right click and select parent, select object. The character and cone are parented. If you press play, you see the character move with the cone, but it is not aligned. Click the armature and move the character to the center of the bone, facing the point. If you press play, the character moves but at the wrong speed. Click on the curve, go to Object Data Properties. Click Path Animation. Change the frame to 200. You might have to adjust the time to fine tune the animation. If you want to make small changes to the direction the character is facing, simply add a keyframe to the cone and make the change there. To do that, just click on the Add Automatic Keying button and make any changes to refine the animation. To render, make sure the cone eye and camera are turned off at render time. And that's it. That's how you do a character walking on a path in Blender using Mixamo animation. Now let's go to 3D Studio Max. So here we are in 3D Studio Max. First, we're going to create the path. Go to Shapes and Splines. Select Line. Go to top view and create the line, which is the path. Select the first vertex of the line. Scroll down to the geometry and select make first. This tells the path where the animation starts. Now back to perspective view. Go to create helpers dummy and create a dummy object. Now select the dummy object. Go to the motion panel. Go to assign controller. Select position. Select the tiny box on the upper left with a check mark that says assign controller. Select path constraint. Click OK. If you notice, two keyframes are automatically added to the beginning and end of the timeline. On the path parameters, select add path and click on the line. Now click follow and press play. Now let's import our character. So go to File, Import. Select our character and hit OK. Hide the path and dummy object by selecting both. Then right click and select Hide Selected to ease your selected character. Now select the entire character. With the character selected, go to the Graph Editors, then Curve Editor. Zoom out and select everything. Now go to Edit, Controller, out of range types. Select cycle and click OK. This loops the animation. With the character still selected, go to group, then hit group, then click OK. 
Now unhide the line in dummy object by right clicking and select unhide all. Now link the character to the dummy object. If you press play, the character is linked by incorrectly centered. Center the character to the dummy object. In the timeline, select time configuration. Change the end time to 20 seconds. Select the dummy object and move the keyframe to a length that is appropriate for the speed. Keep fine tuning until you are happy with the results. And that is how you make a character walk on a path in 3D Studio Max using Mixamo animation. And if you like the content, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming away.